Hello my lovely people, I am Zoha welcoming you on Zoha Insight YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. Do let me know in the comment box how are you all. And today I will be reviewing new launch product from the brand K Beauty and that is K Beauty Matte Blush. Blush is a must have product in my makeup routine, especially natural looking blushes because they add really nice fresh look to the face and uh, over the years art of blushing changed a lot. See, uh, earlier blush was just used to add pink color onto the cheeks. But as time went by, blushes are now used to add dimension to the face to add a really nice highlight on nose, on chin and sometimes on forehead. Also, blushes are multi-purpose product. They can be used as an eyeshadow, as in bronzer, as in blush. And you get a lot of shade range with a uh, different kind of finishes as well. And K Beauty launched eight different shades of blushes, matte blushes, which will suit various skin tones. And they offer two nude shades, two pink shades, two peachy coral kind of shades, and two deep plum pink kind of shades. And I bought three shades the day it launched. Firstly, I bought two shades that is sock nude and sugar candy. And there was an offer that if you purchase products worth 1200 rupees and above, you will get one lip topper free with your purchase. That is this one in the shade Leading Lady I got. But uh, when I saw that Katrina Kaif is sharing her favorite on K Beauty's Instagram story, and her favorite shade is Mild Berry, which I ordered after watching that story because I want to have that, uh, you know, pinkish. Uh, winter glow kind of shade so I thought this is a right option for that so I ordered this as well and with this I also bought K Beauty matte drama matte lipstick in the shade suspense and again I got one lip topper free with my purchase so yeah this is how I got three different shades of blushes these blushes are enriched with avocado and mango butter which brightens up the skin and it's a very lightweight and hydrating formula, doesn't dry out the skin at all and it melts into the skin really very easily because this is also enriched with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. Also this is HD blush so it is very soft and finely milled, applies beautifully and effortlessly and is having luminous matte finish not a flat matte finish but a luminous matte finish these blushes are pigmented and this lasted pretty much six hours on me and after six hours i felt that it is slightly fading away but this thing can vary on different skin types and one more thing that uh, it can transfer i haven't experienced but it can transfer on different skin types so this is something that you have to observe for yourself only. One thing that I absolutely love about this blush is that it adds really nice filter, a really nice blurred look to the cheeks because I'm a combination skin beauty so I have some open pores here. So it adds really nice smooth look. I have observed that my pores look minimized which is an amazing thing. I just love this kind of effect in a blush. Let me show you the packaging and hand swatches of these blushes and then I'll show you the application of these blushes on my face uh, that how these blushes can be a multi-purpose product. You can use either a single shade or it's great if you have several shades just like me. Basically this makeup look which I'm wearing right now, it's beautiful right? It's soft, sultry and beautiful. And I have created this look by using K-Beauty blushes and other K-Beauty products. So now let's see the packaging and hand swatch of K-Beauty matte blushes and then we will move on to the makeup look. This is how packaging looks like. It's a standard K-Beauty packaging, white and color coordinated and K imprint on the box. And you will get all the details on front and on back. Here is the shade name. Only thing which is missing is price. You won't be able to see price of this product on the packaging. Okay. And inside you will get this cushion packaging. Yeah. And here is your product. And I am opening the shade Soft Nude first. So this is how packaging looks like it's beautiful luxury packaging super gorgeous and luxe packaging i must say 
10 on 10 for packaging. It's a rose gold and nude. It's a color coordinated one. Let me open other blushes so that I can show you the comparison between the packaging. So here is the sugar candy. And here is mild berry. You can see that three of them are color coordinated. The packaging is very similar to the highlighter packaging of K-Beauty. For highlighter, all the shades are having white base, but for blush, every shade is having different colored base, color coordinated packaging, which I absolutely love. If you haven't watched my K-Beauty highlighter review and loose powders from K-Beauty, I have done a really nice comparison video of all the loose powders uh, after applying it on the right side of my face and no loose powder on the left side of my face. So if you're interested to watch that video, then link is popping right here in the i button. You can just click on it and watch. Basically, all K-Beauty product review videos of mine will be linked in i button and in description box. So if you're interested, then you can watch. If you have more than one shade from this range, then you can keep it like this. So it will be easy for you to identify the shade without reading the name. Shade name, expiry and some details you will get on the back side. And when you open this blush, you will get a protective plastic film, which I'm going to discard. And also you will get a really nice, good quality mirror. And this is of really good quality. You can see everything. I can see my pores and some blemishes as well. So still it, it's having a mirror. Still it's not bulky or heavy. It's very lightweight. Yeah, it's very lightweight, which I really like. Same as highlighter. Yeah, highlighter is also very lightweight, which is great. Let me swatch all three shades for you on back of my hand. And it's very soft and having very ultra fine particles. So it applies beautifully. And first shade that I'm swatching is soft nude. It's a beautiful neutral tone nude will suit almost all skin tones. Yeah. This will suit almost all skin tone. This is really nice, everyday kind of fresh looking blush. Next shade is Sugar Candy, which is a beautiful peachy coral, slight bit of pink hint into this. So yeah, this is how it looks in pan. And here is the swatch. And uh, it looks slight pale on the back of my hand, but when you apply it, it is really nice and pigmented and still natural looking. Third shade that I'm swatching now is this Mild Berry, which is a beautiful uh, plumish pink kind of shade. Not very deep, but is a perfect winter pinkish glow kind of shade. So here is the swatch. So this is how a mild berry looks like. This is going to suit all skin tones. So here is a close-up swatch of all three shades. First is soft nude which is a neutral tone nude. Second is sugar candy which is a light coral pink and third is mild berry which is a pink tone berry, a neutral tone berry shade. So here you saw the swatches and now let's move on to do this makeup look by using K-Beauty matte blushes and other K-Beauty products, basically product application. I have done my base makeup already so now let us move on to the rest of makeup but before that I am wearing K-Beauty Nail Nourish Nail Lacquer in the shade 23 Rocky Road. It's a beautiful nude nail paint with slight bit hint of pink in it. They have amazing uh, shade range from pastels to nudes to bright pinks and corals and reds. So I highly recommend you to try K-Beauty nail paints as well. Now let us move on to the eye makeup first. So for that, I'm using K-Beauty Maestro Lip Topper in the shade Leading Lady and I'm applying it all over my eyelid and gently blending it with my fingertips. So let's do it. Yeah, so same thing I'm going to do on my left eye. 
Now for adding depth and transition, I'll be using K-Beauty Matte Blush in the shade Sugar Candy and I'm applying this with the help of really nice eyeshadow blending brush. So, just taking a little bit amount, right? Here I'm packing the color just a little bit to add really nice depth and blending it into the crease. You can see that really nice soft ombre eye look and also I'm applying this onto my lower lash line as well. If you like you can also intensify it a little bit with the help of a setting spray you can use any setting spray of your choice but i want to keep it really nice and soft looking so that's why i'm not using a setting spray can you see this really beautiful soft eye look from just two products only you can use uh, your blush as an eyeshadow as well and i highly recommend you to do that so i'm going to dust off some of the minor fallouts Yeah. And same thing I'm going to do on my left eye. Now I'm using K-Beauty Cold Star Kajal in the shade Spade and I am tight lining my upper and lower waterline and also I'll be applying just a little bit slightly above my upper waterline on the outer side. So let's do it. Now I'm smudging the kajal on the outer side with the help of a dense uh, smudging brush and lifting it just a little bit. You saw that really nice soft smoked out lifted look. Same thing I'm going to do on my left eye. Now I'm applying two generous coats of K-Beauty Lala Lash Volumizing Mascara in the shade Midnight. It's a beautiful mascara, gives really nice length and volume to the lashes, holds up the curl for a really long time and separates the lashes really well. So this is something I really like in my mascara and I wear this all the time. So I'm going to apply two generous coats now. One more thing, before applying any mascara, I just like to scrape off excess product from the mascara wand, like so. This doesn't clump up the lashes and gives really nice even application, so you must try this out. And let me know in comment box if you like this trick or not. Let's apply. I just forgot to curl my lashes, so here I'm doing that. I really like to apply my mascara in a wiggling motion and pull it upwards and outwards. Mm. I just touched my mascara on to my lid which I'll be clearing with the help of Q-tip. So no worries. You saw that really nice volume and length and the lashes are really nice separate and even looking and really beautiful. I just love this mascara, must try. And now I'm applying mascara onto my lower lashes as well. Just a little bit, not too much because I want more drama onto my upper lashes, that's why. So yeah, same thing I'm going to do on my left eye. So my eye look is ready now, you can see it's super beautiful and soft. And uh, I have cleared that extra bit of mascara which I have applied accidentally onto my eyelid. So just allow your mascara to dry down for just a couple of minutes and you can take a Q-tip and just wipe it off. It's that simple. 
Now I'm using K Beauty Matte Blush in the shade Soft Nude as a bronzer to add a really nice warmth and definition to my face. And this is how you can use a single blush in several ways. Taking just a little bit, you can see there is slight bit amount on the brush and here I'm applying it. It's a beautiful neutral tone nude blush and this will suit all skin tones. Trust me, it's a beautiful natural looking blush. It will suit like almost all skin tones. Maybe some skin tones won't like to wear this but I think this is a very natural looking blush. You can use this as an uh, everyday eyeshadow as well. <laughs> Adding slight bit of warmth onto my forehead. Now you can clearly see the difference on both sides of my face. Also, I'll be slightly contouring my nose with the help of same soft nude matte blush from K Beauty. So yeah. Slight bit product. There you go, a really nice soft contour with the help of nude blush. Now for blush, I'm using K Beauty Matte Blush in the shade Mild Berry. This is Katrina Kef's favorite. I saw this onto the Instagram story where Katrina Kef shares that this shade is her favorite and it's a beautiful uh, winter pinky glow kind of shade. So I'll be applying this now onto my cheeks. So taking just a little amount onto the blusher brush and tapping off the excess, dusting off the excess and I'm all ready for a winter pink glow onto my cheeks. So let's apply. Oh wow, I love it yaar. Isn't it super beautiful? This is a proper winter pink glow kind of shade. Oh my god, I love it. It's not a very flat matte blush. It's a beautiful a luminescent matte blush and it also helps to blur out the pores slight bit which is really nice. It will uh, give really nice smooth look to the cheeks which I love. Highly recommend. If you want to try a proper pink blush, like a winter glow pink blush, then I highly recommend you to try Mild Berry shade. And this will suit all skin tones. All skin tones means all skin tones. And this is how I like to apply my blush. Slight bit onto the apple of my cheeks and blending it towards my cheekbones. Also, I'm applying a little bit onto my nose to add that uh, fresh highlight look. Especially we get in winters, so yeah, that healthy skin look, fresh look from a pink mulberry shade. It looks beautiful, right? Let me know your thoughts in comment box. Here I'm using K-Beauty Translucent Loose Powder to cut slightly below the uh, contour, below the bronzer to add really nice chiseled look to the face. So I was talking about this soft and lifted chiseled look. Now I'll be applying K-Beauty Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Champagne Fizz. This is a beautiful shade. A really nice rose gold gold champagne kind of shade so this will suit all skin tones and I'll be applying this onto the high points of my face such as 
cheekbones, bridge of nose, center of forehead, cupid's bow, and a little bit onto my chin. Okay? Just see the glow. I like to take my highlighter slightly onto my temples. It gives really nice uh, appearance for the eye look. So, just try it. If you like it, then you can follow these steps as well. Also, I'm highlighting my brow bone and inner corner of eyes with the help of same highlighter. So highlighting is done and now let's move on to the lips. I'll be creating K-Beauty 3D lip look and for that K-Beauty says that you must own a lip liner which I'm having in the shade Unleash and also a lip crayon which I have in the shade Countdown and a lip topper is must for 3D lip look but also I'm having K-Beauty matte lipstick in the shade Suspense so I'll be creating 3D ombre lip look okay so let's do it firstly we need to outline the lips so for that i'm using lip liner of k beauty not only i'm outlining my lips with the help of this but also filling it completely into my lips I'm slightly overdrawing onto my cupid's bow and onto my lower lip as well just in between for a fuller lip kind of a look and yeah this will add a really nice base for upcoming products now I'm using K Beauty countdown lip crayon on the outer side on the outer edge of my lips On the center, I'm using K-Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Suspense. I'm just dabbing off the excess with the help of soft tissue because I don't want that my lips should look cakey or layered up with faux products. So that's why I'm dabbing off the excess product from my lips. dabbing off really nicely till no products comes onto the tissue because uh, I don't want to make my lips look very cakey and this trick really helps to make your lipstick less transferable so yeah here is a trick for you now countdown is a deeper nude pink and suspense is a pale nude pink lipstick this one is matte so matte is on the outer edges and this one is like uh, demi matte not so much uh, moisturizing and not so much matte it's somewhere in between so a really nice combination of uh, deep nude pink and pale nude pink gives really nice ombre effect and having a really beautiful even looking uh, nude lip base so and for the 3d look I'm having the lip topper which K Beauty says gives really nice 3d lip look so let's try it Lip toppers are something that you don't need to apply on complete lips. You need to take just a little amount onto the finger. You saw? Slight bit amount. And just dab on the highest point of your lips. Like center of your lip. Below the cupid's bow and center of lower lip. That's it. Here I'm muting it down just a little bit so that it should not look very very glittery or chunky. And yeah.
so it gives really nice fuller lip look glitter particles are not very chunky these are very finely milled and when light hits onto the face this will give really nice fuller lip look in pictures so yeah here is 3d ombre lip look well i'm not a person who loves to wear glitter onto the lips or wear glitter onto the lips on a daily basis uh, well i'm wearing this on my lips for the first time though and i just wanted to see that what is this 3d lips all about so that's why i just wore it for the first time and yeah it's okay it's something that i would wear very rarely like in pictures or in videos only just to give my makeup look that fun sort of a look and uh, just play with the different lip styles and techniques so yeah that's all and if you like you can just go for it but for eyes this lip topper is just amazing there are some beautiful shades as well some uh, rose gold kind of some red some bronzy kind of shades so you can try other shades as well or you can try this uh, really nice leading lady pink mauvey pink kind of shade you saw that eye look is really nice super soft and glam i created it with really uh, minimal products just a lip topper a blush a mascara where is it a mascara and kajal that's it so yeah this is the final look and you saw how i used these blushes as an eye shadow as a bronzer and as a blush as well and uh, yeah these are really nice you can own different shades as well or you can work with single shade only for example you can own this soft nude shade this will suit almost all skin tone almost all skin tones and uh, this is going to look really nice on a daily basis this is an everyday kind of natural looking blush so will look great on eyes as in bronzer to add really nice depth and chiseled look and for blush it's a big yay for daily use and for a uh, winter glow i would highly recommend you to try mild berry shade this is going to sh suit not shoot <laughs> this is going to suit uh, all skin tones highly recommend and katrina kaif's favorite and this is a beautiful coral pinkish kind of shade this is also going to uh, suit all skin tones if you are more into peachy coral pinkish kind of shades then this is a right option for you Also, these blushes are vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, dermatologically tested, oil and mineral-free. Each one is priced at seven hundred and ninety-nine rupees, and I bought it in ten percent off. That is seven hundred and nineteen rupees on the day it launched. You can keep an eye on Nykaa website and on Nykaa app uh, for the best deal on these blushes. Whenever you get a good discount, you can buy your favorite shade. quantity you are getting is 8.5 grams which is actually quite a lot of product it's totally worth buying with all these good features and good qualities in this blush totally worth buying i will add a purchase link of these blushes for you in description box and also purchase links of other k beauty products which i have used in this video i love these blushes and it's really very tough for me to choose just a single favorite from three of these shades but Uh, as per look i can tell you that which shade is perfect so as per soft everyday kind of makeup look soft nude is a perfect shade and for brown smoky eyes and black smoky eyes this peachy coral kind of shade which is sugar candy is perfect and if you want to have a winter glow a pink makeup kind of look then uh, this mild berry shade is perfect I will definitely use these blushes in my upcoming makeup tutorial and in that way you all will be able to you know identify that what kind of shade can be a uh, best suitable for which kind of makeup look so if you haven't watched any of my makeup tutorials then I'll add a link to it 
uh, an i button and in description box for you and do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming makeup tutorials i totally love these blushes and i highly recommend you to try at least one of your favorite shades from this blush range i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then like share comment your beautiful words and subscribe for more such videos i will see you soon in my next video till then take care bye